Good morning guys, it's a cold but dry Saturday morning. And this is what we got going today. We're going down to the uh, job we hauled the 850 into the other day, trying to do the little uh, leak. It's not a dam repairs, we're working on the opposite side. It's kind of odd, but uh, trying to repair a leak in a little pond. So anyways, got Jerry with me. We're heading down there uh, first thing this morning. Hopefully all the equipment starts and uh, we'll tie this thing and get her knocked out. Let's do it. All righty guys, just rolled in down here. We're gonna check fluids in this old girl real quick. See if she'll fire up. I'm not gonna say it's a sure bet because yesterday it let me down and didn't fire up, but find out. Yeah, I'll be there in just a second. I'm gonna make sure this thing will start and let it warm up. Come on, hit the hole. Fingers crossed, here she goes. You guys gotta see my top secret hiding spot for my key. There she goes. All right, one down, one to go. Let's go see if the L850 will, will fire up this morning and then uh, I'll probably show you what we got. All righty, I've already checked, checked the fuel in this girl or the check the uh, fluids in this girl it needs fuel but i'm gonna see if i can get her fired off first see what happens here this one may need some go-go juice hopefully she cranks Alrighty, this is what we got. As you guys can see, we got a big dry hole, and that is actually the dam around there. And uh, we're pretty confident somebody else built the dam. I didn't build the dam. I don't know what's in it. I don't know how it's built. But uh, from studying this thing, I don't think the dam's leaking. Last year we come in here and we lined, lined this thing with clay from right here to about right there because there was a rock shelf right here. And it started holding water. It started, uh, it's pumped down now, but it started holding water like almost exactly to where we stopped. <laughs> you go figure. So uh, he's got this thing drained down. He actually drained it down back over the summer. So since we're confident, we found something's going on over here at this rock shelf. We're actually thinking it's maybe following this rock shelf out through this ridge and coming out over there. Um, it's just a theory. It's not a proven fact, but basically we're going to line this thing with about two feet of clay the rest of the way up on this side so we're going to tie into where we stopped at last time which is about right there then line it up with clay to about right there jerry's going to hop on the dozer and uh get me a keyway cut in there and we're going to rob all of our dirt uh we dug a few test holes back here this summer there's some pretty good clay underneath these trees right here. So we're gonna strip these trees out, take this little knot off and then push that dirt around. I'm probably gonna dig me, where the two tie together, I'm gonna dig me a keyway trench in there to uh, kinda help it out a little bit. It's cold, I can't think this morning, I can't talk. But uh, we got weather coming again, so Jerry's on the dozer. I gotta walk over here, I gotta walk about a quarter mile and get the track hoe and bring it over here and we're gonna get started 
That's it. All right, guys, finally made it back over here. I apologize, my window's dirty from cleaning that pond, but it's cold outside, so you guys may just have to look through a dirty window, but Jerry's getting that stripped, and now that he's stripping it, it's uh, pretty obvious where we stopped at, so we know exactly where to go. But while he's getting that stripped, my first task is going to uh, get these trees laid out so Jerry can shove them over in the woods, and uh, yeah, we'll get some dirt out of underneath them, so trees be gone and voila trees are gone it's just that easy don't you always wish it was that easy okay so trees are gone jerry's getting uh the borrow area i didn't really pit borrow area all figured out we're going to track down here jerry's got our trench and our bench cut in here and uh start digging our digging our keyway i guess you'd call it and uh, just kind of looking and seeing if we see anything that uh catches our attention and then Jerry's eventually gonna start shoving some dirt hopefully some good dirty finds up there shoving some good dirt down over the hill and uh, see what we got I'll be honest with you guys I'm not gonna get too carried away with digging this keyway and the purpose of this is one obviously helps seal a little bit but I just want to kind of get a glimpse uh, a little bit of a glimpse down in here, make sure there's not a layer of topsoil or a thin layer of rock or uh, just make sure there's nothing close to the surface that we need to address a little bit. Instead of covering it up, we'll fix it before we cover it up. The, what we're actually going to use to seal this is, uh, you kind of see where I was out there before. We're actually going to use the seal list and actually cap it with about two feet of good dirt. But if we can uh, take down here and either break a break a layer of rock or, like I said, find a no topsoil bait or something. A little bit of something going on there. I don't have X-ray vision. I guess is what I'm trying to say. I think now see what we find. There's that rock a layer. Right there. That would definitely probably leak some water. Water got to it. Alright, let me dig over here a little bit. We'll see what we find. Alright guys, this is what we kind of got. Honestly, it's not an ideal situation, but this is that rock ledge. We were uh Kind of concerned about i guess they we call this around here soapstone i don't know what it is it's like a real soft limestone with some shale in it whenever it gets wet it gets really slick and uh water will go water will go through it uh, water will find its way through it and you don't really know where it's going if you get spots like right here look at this see that's the stone right there that's some topsoil that goes right down to it this is not an ideal situation to be honest with you but it's it is what it is about the only way whenever we did this earlier the biggest the most likely place you got where this uh shelf's gonna leak is where it daylights out in the pond which is actually where we fixed last time and we chased it up the hill so at this point about all we can do is uh is just try to keep it capped with some good dirt get two or three feet of good clay on top of it and uh, keep our fingers crossed and hope it works. And go from there. I, I, you can dig this stuff, but it, it's 15, 20 feet deep. I mean, they dig them through it and then cut the channel fish, it's just not enough. So, yeah. There you have it. Trench with rock in it. So Jerry's over there. He's, uh, he's getting dirt pushed up the hill. I don't know if you can see him just popping up over the hill. He's getting us a stockpile, some good dirt, and then he'll come back in here and we'll kind of put this in here in layers and lifts. And uh, I'll probably work with him with the track hill and get this trench compacted real well. And uh, we'll keep on it going, but that's what we got. We did find one interesting thing here. That rock is up within about three or four inches of the surface of the lake. And that's about uh, I don't have a laser here, so we're kind of guessing, but that is about the elevation it was leaking. So we're going to uh, pay a little bit of special attention to that area 
as we backfill here. I'm gonna have to run out of here for just a second while Jerry pushes some dirt. I'm gonna take care of some other obligations, but we shall be back and we'll check on them. All right, guys, before I head out here for a little bit, Jerry may have a lot of this done before I get back, so I just want to give you a little sneak peek. But there's all the brush we cleaned up. This is where the trees were at, and we got some, uh, you know, got some really good dirt here to do what we need to do. It's dry. Uh, we're mixing it with a little bit of this wetter stuff. It's gonna make uh, it, yeah. What I'm trying to say is, it's the material we need to do what we want to do. So, Jerry's getting him a trench set up here. Jerry's basically getting him a trench set up here, coming around, and he's going to kind of layer that in there to where he can walk him in with a dozer and uh, get some good stuff in that trench, get us a nice lift in there, and uh, hopefully she holds water. But we'll be back. We'll check on them. Oh, dozer still pushes good. apologize i lost some of the fun important stuff i just i wasn't here and i had jerry the camera and he's like yeah hey, that works so anyway but here's here's what it all is tied back in um some of this stuff right here on top it looks a little bit lighter we took some of the stuff we threw out of the uh pond there and just kind of put it back on top to get rid of it but there she is all laid back in uh jerry we got just a few rough edges around the edges to clean up and then uh let it rain and uh see what happens so like i said i apologize i missed uh filling the trench in and stuff jerry just kind of did what we were talking about uh kind of just rolled the uh rolled the clay in there and kept packing her in and we got about probably close to two feet right here of uh good clay and almost four feet when we were worried about it so as always guys hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe and comment and we'll catch you on the next one